Right now we're actually, and this is Grez, uh, please do uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Uh, it makes you uh, in tune uh, to all uh, that's happening on this channel. Uh, we're actually right now in broad uh, channel, uh, approaching towards Rockway into uh, Bell Harbor uh, to the site of... Um, in Bell Harbor of American Airlines Flight 587, uh, the crash scene. Uh, flight 587 uh, was a regularly scheduled international flight from JFK to uh, Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic. So this happened on November the 12th of 2001. A mere two months after 9-11, and the, uh, the plane, which was an Airbus A300B4, was flying a route, crashed in the neighborhood of Bell Harbor, the Rockway Peninsula of Queens, New York, shortly after takeover, uh, after, uh, after takeoff, rather. All 260 people on board the plane 251 passengers, nine crew members were killed, along with five people on the ground. It is considered the second deadliest aviation incident involving an Airbus and the second deadliest aviation accident in U.S. history behind the crash of American Airlines Flight 191 in 19. 79 no survivors five ground uh, five ground fatalities one ground injury and uh bell harbor uh, just a, around that point in 2001 it's a rather small community uh and unfortunately uh it has a lot of first responders and a lot of first responders uh, were lost. Uh, a lot of them lived in Bell Harbor. They were trying to pick up the pieces. A lot of them, uh, and you know, a lot of people that did live, were living in Bell Harbor at the time, were just starting to, as far as work-wise, starting to work regularly again, uh, since they were putting a lot of overtime hours at uh, Ground Zero. So this was all in that, know uh time frame so based on what this is what we know uh as far as the cla uh the crash the plane taxied onto the runway behind a uh japan airlines blowing uh boeing 747 preparing for takeoff at 9 11 uh, 9 11 and 8 seconds. At 9 11 and 36 seconds, the tower controller cautioned Flight 587 about a potential wake turbulence from a prescending B 747. At 9 13 and 28 seconds, the A 300 uh, was cleared for takeoff and left the runway at 9 14 29. About a, uh, it was about a one a minute and forty seconds after the Japanese flight. The aircraft climbed to an altitude of five hundred feet, and then entered a climbing left turn to a heading of two hundred twenty degrees at nine fifteen and zero seconds. The captain made initial contact with the departure controller, informing him that the airplane was at thirteen hundred feet and climbing to 5,000 feet. The controller then instructed the aircraft to climb and maintain 13,000 feet. As uh, we're now, you can see, in the neighborhood, in and around the neighborhood of Bell. So we are in Bell Harbor right now. Uh, this is where um, some of, unfortunately, um, uh, the plane debris went. Unfortunately, a lot of people were still in their seats.
uh, as they came crashing down into the earth. Very um, grisly scene. Um, unthinkable scene. Uh, this is in and around that area. Right now we're going to be approaching the light. We're going to be making a turn onto Newport Avenue, which is where the uh, uh, the crash happened. So, the controller instructed the aircraft to climb and maintain 13,000 feet. It was showed that the aircraft hit wake turbulence from the um, JAL, the Japanese flight, in front of it at 9.15.36. The pilot altern uh, alternated between moving the rudder from right to the left and back again in quick succession from uh, 1915.52, causing... A side slip until the lateral force caused composite lugs that attached the vertical stabilizer to fail at 9.15.58. As we're once again around driving in the neighborhood of Bell Harbor, so you could see how the neighborhood, get a feel of the neighborhood. The stabilizer separated from the aircraft and fell into Jamaica Bay about one mile north of the main wreckage site. The aircraft then pitched downwards after the stabilizer lost. And um, as the pilot struggled to control the aircraft, it went into a flat. So the plane goes into a flat spin. The resulting aerodynamic loads, you know, it sheared both engines from the aircraft. They fell several blocks north and east of the main wreckage site, causing minor damage to a gas station and then major damage to one home and a boat. You actually seen the gas station in the beginning of the video. The loss of the engines cut power to the FDR at 916.01, while the cockpit voice recorder, using an emergency bus, cut off at 916.14 on impact with the ground. The last recorded words were Mullen saying, what the hell are we into? We're stuck in it at 9.16 and 7 seconds. With states replying, get out of it, get out of it. The aircraft slammed into the ground at Newport Avenue and Beach, 131st Street. And, you know, during that time, a lot of people uh, thought it was a, a terrorist act uh, because of 9-11. Several buildings, um, Empire State Building, United Nations, they were um, evacuated. And uh, remember, it took quite some time before the actual cause was determined, uh, you know, due to investigation. But a lot of people had uh, theorized um, that it was uh, terrorism. Uh, turned out uh, not to be the case. Um, you know, just what can you say about a, a, a crash like this left its mark? Uh, there was a memorial that uh, we will be heading to. Uh, it was constructed in Rockway Park, which was right next to uh, Bell Harbor. Um, it's situated beside the Rockway Beach and Boardwalk at the south end of Beach 116th, um, you know, which is Beach 116th, it's actually a major commercial street 
um, in that area. On the fifth anniversary uh, of the accident, um, uh, there was a ceremony attended there by Mike uh, Bloomberg, actually. It, the memorial wall, when you look at it, uh, has windows and a doorway looking toward the nearby Atlantic Ocean. And it's angled toward the Dominican Republic. It is inscribed with the names of the victims. Atop the memorial uh, is a quotation in both Spanish and English. Uh, it's from a Dominican poet. And it reads, Después no quiero más que pas, which uh, translate to afterwards, I want nothing more than peace. As we are uh, approaching uh, the, uh, the crash site, and you're still once again getting a look of Newport Avenue and um, you know the uh, the crash site. Uh, homes are you know it's they've been dealt with many uh, tragedies in Bell Harbor and uh, Far Rockway, you know, um, and Broad Channel, which is in the beginning of the video when uh, we were passing through it. Um, you know, you, 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 you notice that, um, and here we are actually, uh, right, right at the memorial, uh, but, you know, this is a community that was hit by, um, you know, 9-11 as was much of the world, uh, but a lot of first responders were in the Bell Harbor area. Then, uh, Flight 587 two months later and then in 2012 hurricane sandy came along which devastated the community once again uh with flooding it's near the beach so uh it, it got hit hard as well uh but it, it's a it's a tight-knit community uh small but a tight-knit community and uh you know um it's expensive to live here in this part of Queens, uh, but a lot of people uh, do not leave this area, Bell Harbor, I find. A lot of people want to actually move uh, to Bell Harbor, even now after, you know, everything that happened, uh, especially um, Sandy just a few years ago. So... unedited video as, as you look at the disbelieving residents there and, and firefighters getting ready to attack this thing. Power lines down, homes on fire distance there as well. So you're watching this with us for the first time and, and again it's not been edited so it's uh, it's what we call raw video. And potentially disturbing as well. You can see a gentleman there in, in complete disbelief, his hand over his head. Trash out on the sidewalk in a community of homes uh, waiting to be picked up. And there you see flames, thick black smoke, uh, as we get closer to the point of impact. Again, this would be somewhere in the 915, 930 range or so. Uh, the plane going down at 915, so that's when the flames were still burning. At the moment, however, that is all... As far as the eyewitnesses are telling us, that is all uh, knocked down. What there is remaining yeah, Jim, Jim is jet fuel and an awful, awful odor in the air.